Wow, wow, Zarino, my, my brain has just exploded with all the excitement. It's just just amazing. And how how to go about summing up such a full, exciting and stimulating day? Well, I mean, the good news is I'm going to be brief. I'm not going to take 20 minutes because the, the e-drinks and the informal chat beckon. And I suspect that we're all pleasantly tired by now. But I think we can all agree that today has been a superb, inspiring, enriching day that's left us all with plenty to mull over. And it's shown us a wide variety of perspectives from that of academic archeology span on the one hand to that of improving people's lives through applying humanity and imagination. As Kenny's brilliant presentation on his work on engaging communities in, in urban rock art has shown us. And today's been a chance to celebrate the fabulous achievements of the project and the very hard work that everyone has put into it to make it such a success. And it's also given us a chance to take stock, to consider what could perhaps be done better, to chew over some pretty challenging issues, it has to be said, and to consider the future of, of rock art studies. And of course, I don't intend to take us through, I mean, this morning seems about 10 years ago now, uh, but I do wanna pick up on some of the themes and some of the highlights. And for me, the most, the greatest pleasure has been to hear from the volunteer community teams, to hear about the nuts and bolts of how they went about doing their recording work, what their experience was, how they felt about it, what the issues and challenges were, including um, doing uh, recording within a firing range, or within a field full of cows, or in the, in the freezing cold. Uh, so well done, chaps, my goodness me. And also the, the range of skills that have been brought by the community recorders, um, from surveying skills, cleaning skills, uh, cleaning was done very, very carefully, fantastic photography skills. And it was great to hear Margaret Rudd um, talk us through how she you know, applied the 3D photogrammetric uh, technique. It's just brilliant, it's, it's great stuff. And also the, the you know the the reactions, the emotional reactions, the social, you know what it meant to them, what what value it holds for them. And I thought it was very interesting that you know part of the pleasure and satisfaction came from doing things together with other people. And uh, by golly, you know it's it, it's it's done its job there. And also the amazing insights that have come out of it. So I, I really enjoyed Nick Parrish's. Um, discovery about the quarrying of some outcrops to, for, for querns and the discovery that some other outcrops had been used as, as perhaps a polissoir um, and then being able to go back and, and re-evaluate other people's uh, records to say well actually that one there might well be a, a quern quarry site and 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 you know your rosettes are fascinating we, I think we'll be you know mulling over them for quite a long time but also the, the, the clear problems and the threats to the sites, which are really, really depressing. Um, it's awful to see you know, heavy machinery damage. I mean, God knows the whole Greenland experience was awful. Um, I feel quite scarred by it, but at the same time, what else could you do? If you know some a site is gonna be blown up, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna leave it there. We can talk about this later. Um, the workshops were fantastic in considering you know, the, the, the legal protection, the fact that only 4% of these sites have any, uh, are scheduled, have any legal protection, um, but also of considering the potential. Um, so say the potential to take more in, in as a, a, a doctor monument scheme for Archaeology Scotland. Um, but also, who could forget the most amazing animation by the most wonderful Matt Ritchie? I mean, that's, and also how topical. You had shooting stars, darling, and we have shooting stars tonight. So well done. And, and you know, and the importance of getting them young, getting young people engaged and applying creativity and imagination to engage people. The panel discussion, I think, was incredibly valuable in, in terms of talking about the social value and how you measure that against and how you privilege you know, one thing against another or how you achieve a balance between what academic archaeology needs and wants for a project like this and what 
local communities want a need. And in, in, I think in the past, we haven't succeeded in doing that. And I just hope that the, you know, the funders of these projects sit up and listen, because it really is important. This is a great opportunity to address issues of social inequality, you know, and to, and to take these, what could be a dry and dusty thing, or basically to share the love and to share the, the knowledge that people have with the communities who live all around us. Um, this is, and we had issues such as local versus national, you know, where this information should go, how it should best be disseminated. And I think there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done, again, on improving that balance there. And the sustainability of rock art studies into the future. The benefits, well, I don't need to tell you, I mean, this has absolutely transformed our understanding. I mean, this must be the, the best rock art project in the whole of Europe. Um, it's, it's given us this incredible toolkit for analysing the, the data that have been um, so carefully gathered up. Um, it's going to be an amazing educational resource into the future and, and it's going to improve everybody's well-being. So uh, at the beginning of the day, Tersha said that the, the aims of the whole project were to record, research and raise awareness. And I think we can say that it's done that in spades. So it only remains for me to thank everybody. So thank you very much to the team responsible for organising this conference today and for making sure it's gone so very smoothly. So Paolo and your team at Vi Video Pro Production Edinburgh, thank you, grazie, grazie. Thank you to all the presenters to the panelists, to the chairs. Thanks to Aaron for his continuity stuff, which is lovely. Thank you to the audience for your questions. You know, you, 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 didn't, um, you didn't pull any punches. And I think that uh, we're gonna have a very interesting um, informal discussion now, but is it art? Good question, is it art? Thank you to the AHRC for making this all financially possible. And most of all, thank you to dear Tertia for your vision for your dedication, your support, your commitment, and your sheer bloody hard work over all these years. Long may the work of this fantastic project live on in the future of the community teams. So loads more to discuss, but let's go back to the scrap people for final words before joining in in the informal session. Thank you so much. <laughs>